A cordial greeting. Today is Saturday, September 28, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I would like to provide an update on the tropics and the high cyclonic activity we are currently seeing in the Atlantic. Now, let's go into more details about the situation in the Atlantic. First, far to the north in the Atlantic, we have Hurricane Isaac, which continues to strengthen and is currently a Category 2 hurricane. However, it is projected to weaken over the coming days and does not pose a threat to land. On the other hand, we also have Tropical Storm Joyce, which continues its west-northwest trajectory and is expected to dissipate over the next four days, posing no threat to land. In addition, we will talk about a low-pressure system that is anticipated to develop in Caribbean waters and could evolve into a tropical cyclone, with a path similar to that of Hurricane Helene. Therefore, residents of western Cuba, the Yucatan Peninsula, and the Gulf Coast states should stay tuned for updates to see how this forecast evolves. At the end of the video, I will talk about a low-pressure system that has a high chance of becoming Tropical Storm Kirk. Although it does not pose a threat to the Caribbean since it is projected to remain over the open Atlantic, we will keep an eye on another tropical wave expected to emerge from Africa at the beginning or middle of next week. There's definitely a lot of activity in the tropics, and here on Hurricane Info, I will continue recording content to keep you informed. First, I wanted to show you the latest tropical outlook from the National Hurricane Center. You can see, they now indicate a high probability of development for a low-pressure system located southwest of Cape Verde, which is very likely to become Tropical Storm Kirk and strengthen into a hurricane. However, it is projected to remain far from land. Of more interest in the Western Caribbean Sea and Gulf of Mexico waters is the increased probability, now 50%, of cyclonic development. This means that in the area previously impacted by Tropical Storm and Hurricane Helene, a tropical storm could develop within the next seven days. Let's focus on the Caribbean region. Currently, we have a strong tropical wave moving south of the Dominican Republic, and this tropical wave will continue moving into the Western Caribbean. While we will monitor its evolution as it crosses the Yucatan Peninsula and reaches the Gulf of Mexico, the models are developing another low-pressure system associated with the Central American Gyre. This could lead to the formation of a low-pressure system just east of Nicaragua, which could organize cyclonically as it moves northwest. In fact, this pattern is very similar to the origins of Hurricane Helene, which also formed from a low-pressure system east of Nicaragua and eventually became a tropical cyclone. Let's check the latest model projections. Starting with the American model, you can see the tropical wave crossing Jamaica in the next 24 hours, and this system could cross the Yucatan Peninsula and eventually reach the Gulf of Mexico. However, the American model keeps this system relatively weak, meaning the chances of development are limited. Nevertheless, between Tuesday and Wednesday, the GFS model is very aggressive in developing a tropical cyclone east and northeast of Nicaragua. Between Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, it forecasts a northwest trajectory possibly passing near or over western Cuba, or, as shown in this run, over the Yucatan Peninsula. This model even suggests it could pass through this area as a strong tropical storm or Category 1 hurricane by Thursday. It is important for residents in this area to stay alert to how this forecast evolves. In the longer term, the GFS model projects a trajectory toward the southeastern United States, but being a long-term forecast, much could change, and we will need to monitor it throughout the week. We also have the European model projection. Here, we see the tropical wave crossing Jamaica on Sunday and eventually reaching the southern Gulf of Mexico waters. However, it does not develop, but similar to the GFS model, it shows a stronger low-pressure system developing northeast of Nicaragua. This would happen in the morning hours of Wednesday, then move over the Yucatan Peninsula between Friday and Saturday. In its latest run, it shows a tropical storm in Gulf of Mexico waters, potentially moving northeast and nearing or passing over Florida. Those in the southeastern United States should be alert, as they may once again face the impact of a tropical cyclone, which could complicate recovery efforts after Hurricane Helene. Other models, like the German model, also show the development of a low-pressure system in the Gulf of Mexico. In fact, this model develops the system from the tropical wave currently located south of the Dominican Republic, which will move into the Gulf of Mexico by midweek. As is typical with long-term forecasts, we see different scenarios, from a trajectory nearly identical to Hurricane Helene's, which could put the Yucatan Peninsula, western Cuba, and the states of Florida and Georgia at risk, to other scenarios showing a more westerly trajectory, perhaps threatening Texas or Louisiana. There's much to observe at the moment, and it's very difficult to say which states may be threatened if a new cyclone develops. These are the projections from the GFS model, and we see similar patterns in the European model projections. Many scenarios, though most members favor a path over Florida in about 10 days. However, once again this is a long-term forecast and subject to significant changes. The important thing is that here on Hurricane Info, I will continue to monitor the progress of this tropical wave and stay alert to the possible development of a low-pressure system east of Nicaragua. Now let's discuss the tropical Atlantic region. Here, 
we have Tropical Storm Joyce, which is maintaining its northwest trajectory, and wind shear will cause it to dissipate in the coming days, so it really poses no threat to land and is not expected to strengthen into a hurricane. The next candidate for development in this region is a broad low-pressure system located southwest of Cape Verde, which the National Hurricane Center gives a 70% chance of cyclonic development. Conditions are quite favorable for it to strengthen into a hurricane. However, looking at global model runs, the GFS model projects a path well to the north, but it has a Category 3 or Category 4 hurricane in about seven days, fortunately far from the Caribbean region. The same is shown by the European model, with a path toward the north-northwest, also strengthening into a hurricane by the end of next week. The German model shows something similar with a potential Category 3 hurricane moving north over the Atlantic. It is very likely that this will be the next hurricane of the season, probably named Hurricane Leslie. Additionally, within 6 to 8 days, the German model develops another tropical wave that will emerge from Africa at a rather low latitude, and we will monitor this system for the Caribbean in case it takes a more westerly path compared to Tropical Storm Joyce and the future Tropical Storm Kirk. In fact, this is not the only model showing some development. The UK model also shows a strong low-pressure system developing southwest of Cape Verde in about 7 to 9 days, and while this is a long-term forecast, we will be paying attention, especially since some members of the European model show that low-pressure system strengthening in about 8 to 9 days at a rather low latitude. However, there's nothing to worry about in the Caribbean at this time, as it is a long-term forecast and currently poses no threat to the region. Also, in this image, you can see the trajectory of Tropical Storm Joyce and the next cyclone that will form in this area. But there is unanimous consensus that it will not move toward the Caribbean and will remain over the open Atlantic waters. Well, that's all for the tropical update. Here on Hurricane Info, I will stay alert to keep you informed. The next video will be recorded tomorrow, Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive notifications when I record new videos. Now, I bid farewell.